this deck will just have no problem working with whatever I want it to make it do. Yo, what's up everybody? Anxiety Offline, back again today for a quick video. So now that I've been into fingerboarding for a couple years now, I really kind of got it locked down as to what I like and what I look for in a fingerboard. When I came across this one, I checked all the boxes and I was really, really, really excited to try it. It seems to have the perfect balance of weight, wheelbase, concave, and shape. The craftsmanship is overall amazing, and the person who makes them puts a lot of time and care into her creations, as well as being a very talented fingerboard. It does seem that people who are overall good at fingerboarding do make the best decks. Today, we're talking about the TP decks, Plain Jane. Okay, so real quick, don't forget, I have my own website, anxietyoffline.com, where I have an array of obstacles and fingerboard supplies, such as grip tape and bushings. If you want to support this channel and get a really cool obstacle to fingerboard on, check out my site. I also offer custom graffiti for concrete obstacles. So if you want a custom obstacle with your name on it, definitely check me out and I will hook you up, anxietyoffline.com. And without further ado, let's get back to the video. All right, so let's talk a little bit about TP Dex, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the Plain Jane. So TP Dex has been around for a long time. They were officially established in about 2011. The owner, Leah, is very active on Instagram, and from what I can tell, she uses very high quality metal molds to create her fingerboards. That definitely shows through when you pick one up. They're very dense and very poppy. TP Dex does a lot of very cool split plies. They do a lot of really awesome geometrical pattern designs. One of my personal favorites is the Scream one they do. One thing a lot of their decks have in common are very brightly dyed plies. I don't know how she does it, but she gets the colors like very rich and very saturated. She also does some very cool zebra patterns, which I've never really seen any other brand do before. Overall, she's very talented and a very experienced deck maker. She's also very good at fingerboarding, and I feel like people who are good at fingerboarding always make the best decks. Just like Flatface or Berlinwood, fingerboard companies that are owned by fingerboarders, TP Dex definitely falls into that category. So they offer a variety of shapes and sizes, but I have my eye on the Plain Jane. I've been fingerboarding for about two years now, so I really kind of got it dialed down as to what I look for in a fingerboard. And one of those things is a medium kick, medium concave, which this deck advertises itself as. And now that I have it in hand and I'm skating it for a while, it feels vaguely similar to the Berlin Wood regular mold. It has a similar concave, but it's more well-rounded and a little bit shorter. Another thing I look for in a fingerboard that's usually going to be make or break for me is a long wheelbase, which this deck also has. For me, wheelbase is always going to be the number one thing as to whether I can actually use a fingerboard or not. I feel like if wheelbase is too short, I just kind of can't do any tricks on it. It's hard to just kind of get the deck in the air, hard to pop it off the ground. On the other hand, if I have a long wheelbase, I feel like the deck has more pop, it's just more capable. And that all comes down to preference, just kind of what I'm used to after all the decks I've tried and kind of what I like out of all the decks I've tried. So for me, I like long wheelbases and this deck has one. Overall, the quality of the deck is very, very nice. Really nice rounding, nice edges, no crooked base plates or anything like that. It's very poppy and very capable. I know I keep saying that, but those are two. But capable is like one word that really comes to mind with this deck. I can do a lot of tricks on it first try really without much thought at all. Weird angles are also no challenge either. I can easily be crouching down or kneeling or whatever, even on the floor, and this deck will just have no problem working with whatever I want it to make it do. I can also do crazy backside flips on it and really high kick flips and very high ollies. And same for tray flips too. It seems to shine on vert or street. I have some decks that seem to work better for ledges than they do for quarter pipes or half pipes. This deck goes back and forth, no problem. I'll use it on vert, on street, and it just seems to always rock. So the plies overall have a thicker look to them, but overall the deck has kind of a thin profile. And even though it has a thin profile, it still has a nice weight, which I like a lot. I like heavier fingerboards, and this one seems to be on the, not the heavy end, but definitely not the light end either. This setup as is comes in at about 15 grams. So what we got here is a 34 millimeter TP deck plain Jane with 32 millimeter 3.0 black river trucks, abstract new street wheels and off white. And then I have tropics blue Gatorade bushings. So overall, I like this brand a lot. I want to try more of their products moving forward and I actually have a custom Penny V2 already in the works. The quality and the feel of this deck is extremely high. I would recommend it to absolutely anybody, especially if you are into medium kicks, medium concave, and you like your decks on the heavier end. This is one you definitely got to try out. If you don't have one of these in your arsenal, you're missing out. It's a very fun deck. I take this one personally everywhere. I'll throw it in my pocket, take it out on a walk, take it out to hang out with friends, take it out to the bar, take it wherever. Super satisfying to mess around with, and I would give it a solid 10 out of 10. I'm excited to see what else TP Dex comes out with, and just to see how the brand evolves. 
They've been around for a long time. They're definitely a staple in the community. So it's no surprise these decks function the way they do. Definitely check them out. Go grab one. Tell them who sent you. www.tpdecks.com. Go for one to the next. Concrete is so rough. y'all i recorded this video like three different times and trying out different lighting kind of video setups or whatever and um overall this one hopefully looks pretty good i guess i'll see once i actually get it in the editor thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video let me know by leaving a like leaving a comment down below and subscribing i have a ton more content coming at you tutorials reviews and some how to's so definitely stay tuned any bit of support you can leave on this channel helps out a lot. Check out my website, www.anxietyoffline.com, if you want some really cool custom concrete fingerboard obstacles. They're super fun to sash, and it's even cooler when you have them with your name on it. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay shredding, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.